diesel. He's also a weasel. So we call him the Diesel Weasel. He's the Lord of all weasels. Top of the morning to you, top of the morning. Like usual, still trying to figure out what's going on. It's a little bit cooler out today at least. Oh, Georgia was so hot. Since my air conditioning conked out, it's kind of nice to be up here in this nice cool weather. So we called Freightliner in Winnipeg. We got the part we need sitting on the shelf there waiting for us. So when we get back home, it'll be really quick. I just gotta run in there on Monday morning, go get this part that was a little overpriced if you ask me, but all parts are. And pick it up, bring it to the shop where I'm getting the work done. And then they're gonna fix that. Gonna look at the bunk heater. They're also gonna service the truck. Sorry, I'm still just waking up, like I said, trying to figure out what's going on. This is uh, Ontario, where I'm at here in London. There's the 401. So from here, I'm gonna be going up to Guelph, Ontario. And uh, I don't know if I gotta go through Toronto, but from there we're going to Sudbury. Then I definitely gotta go through Toronto, or at least a bit of it. Yay. But I'm gonna wake up, so I'm a little more animated. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys. Pre-trip done. We are safe. We are legal. We are ready to rock. Remember, everything is hands-free. From this point on, as I push in the brakes, my hands are on the steering wheel, and don't touch the cameras. It's just a GoPro dash camera that I'm using, mounted to my dashboard, out of reach. And let's go, shall we? Lights are on. <coughs> We're gonna meander our way safely out of this parking lot. These will keep your eyes peeled for those crazy super truckers racing through here. You keep your eyes peeled, man. Every once in a while you get a super trucker who thinks he's like Mario Andretti in a truck. And ripping through the parking lot. That's how accidents happen. I talk to you guys like I talk to a passenger, right? Except you guys can't talk back, so really I'm just talking to myself. Talking to the windshield. As far as I know, talking to yourself is still okay. It's a little weird to some people. They don't quite understand it. But hey. It's safer than having a passenger in here who could distract you with a rebuttal statement or a conversation. God forbid you have a conversation while you're driving. <laughs> okay guys, here we go. See those two wonderful flags flying? The one on the left there would be the Ontario flag and you know you're in Ontario because it's positioned right beside the good old Canadian flag. So yes, this is uh, Woodstock en route. We're in Woodstock, Ontario. A little bit of a story. Uh, we got uh, pulled into the inspection station, but we didn't get inspected. Uh, they don't have weigh stations in Ontario. They have inspection stations. Because they don't just want to weigh you. They want to inspect you and inspect your vehicle. And they were inspecting everybody in front of me. There was a long lineup, and I was the last one in line. They turned the lights off just as I got into line obviously because all the other trucks were going past and I was like, <laughs> if I would have left 30 seconds later I could have just bypassed it but, oh well anyways <laughs> as we were going they started inspecting all the trucks in front of me right and then I guess they had one inspection bay open because they have like 12 inspection bays or something I know they're crazy right most way stations have like one or two inspection no this one has like 12 so uh, there was one inspection bay left and there was two trucks in front of me and the one truck in front of the truck in front of me, 
his brake lights didn't work. So they pulled him into the last bay and the last two trucks just gotta go. There's no inspectors to inspect us. Shoot. <laughs> but I did have to wait in that line for like 20 minutes. So I don't really have a lot of time right now. I'm gonna go in there quickly, grab a Timmy's and then we're gonna be on our way. We're gonna be going to Guelph. It was all you, wasn't it, Diesel? You gave those inspectors a nice little smile and they said, oh, I'll let him go through. Let him go through, it's the Diesel Weasel. It was you, wasn't it? I don't know what they're talking about, man. Yeah, who's that? Who's that, man? Yeah, somebody just walked past the truck. How dare he walk past my truck? <laughs> okay. Let's go. That is a red line. Stop just before the line, too. Like a boss. Don't you just love it when lights turn red for no reason? Well, I guess there is a reason these guys need to go somewhere. You went through a red light. Hey, I stopped for my red light. That guy went through the red light. Not cool. So, like I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by the traffic signal, it is a very, very beautiful area here. Lots of fall colors going on. And I mean, if the, if the fall colors are in full swing here now, probably up in Manitoba, the leaves are probably all gone. But we're gonna find out because uh, I think we're going home from Sudbury. I told you that already though, right? So that's no surprise to you. Yeah, the trips have been good. We've been gone 21 days today. So by the time we get home, we'll have been gone about 25 days. We did go home for one night in between, if you remember. But uh, besides that, we've been gone about 25 days by the time I get home. That's a good trip. After all the time I did sitting, I needed that kind of trip. I would keep going, but we got Thanksgiving dinner next weekend, and I want to be there for that. I don't get to see my whole extended family, or my whole family, uh, very often. I mean, they're my family. I don't have family of my own, so. I got Diesel. Diesel's my boy. Yeah. Can't really call him my son, though, because he doesn't look anything like me. I am not nearly that hairy. I don't think I am. Sorry, Diesel. Diesel apparently looks a whole lot better than me, too, anyways, because he gets all the girls. But hey, he's a nice little tool. You go for a walk in the park with Diesel, and hey, suddenly people want to come say hi. Well, hello to you, too. Yes, you can pet my dog. Absolutely. <laughs> Is that creepy? <laughs> what? A girl is way more likely to come say hi to you if you have a dog with you, uh, a cute dog, not an aggressive one, than if you're just by yourself. Just saying. Diesel, we're here. We're here. We're here, man. It's a secret. Yes, we're here, uh, where we're going to be unloading this trailer. Uh, you guys are wondering, where's he at? Where's he at? Uh, I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm not telling. Guys, uh, I can't, uh, just a reminder, I can't tell you where I pick up and deliver. That's part of the contract I have with uh, who I work for. That's obviously sensitive information. So, anyways, we're here. I hear Canada geese. It's good to be home. Why aren't they going south already, man? It's gonna snow soon. Get out of here, guys. Man, if I was a goose, man, free to migrate, man, I'd be in, like, Georgia right now. I was just in Georgia. Man, is it hot down there? Anyways, I have, uh, no air conditioning in here, which is fine because up here in Canada it's the perfect temperature right now. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go in there, get this trailer unloaded. I have to help them out. Loading another trailer here, I, I heard. Uh, they asked me if I could do that for them. I said, yeah, sure, why not, why not? And then uh, we're gonna go to Sudbury after that. So stay tuned, guys. Exciting things are gonna happen soon. Hopefully. And we're off. All the work is done. It took about three to four hours or so. And uh, now we're driving five hours north up to Sudbury. We're going to load there tomorrow and head around home. I missed my home already. And we'll, we're going to be going through scenic northern Ontario again. This will be a good opportunity for you guys to compare 
uh, Northern Ontario scenery to Newfoundland scenery. To me, I think they look very similar. I don't know, you guys be the judge. You guys have seen my Newfoundland videos from the past week or so. In the next couple of days, you'll see Northern Ontario. Let me know what you think, if they look similar or if it, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But anyways, next we're gonna be driving through uh, the big city. The biggest city in the nation. Toronto, compared to other cities in the world, it's just a little town. But there's about uh, seven million people in the, the area there. It's a big city to me. And the amount of traffic it has, you'd think there was like a billion people living there. The traffic is just nuts. So we're gonna see how it is when we get there. It looks like we should be there slightly on the tail end of rush hour. But we'll see. Let's see, let's see how it is. Yep, it's still Toronto. You know what kind of tricks you coming into the city at first there? At first you're like, hey, no traffic. Come around the corner, wait, no, wait, no, it's still Toronto. <laughs> no traffic in Toronto? Impossible. This is just a regular day. Doesn't matter what day, doesn't matter what time of day actually. It's like a Rush hour in Toronto is from about 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. A full 12 hours of rush hour. That's what I've noticed. I'm not from here, but that's just my personal observations. So if you're coming through Toronto, be prepared. Make sure you go to the bathroom before you get to the city. Nothing worse than having to really, really go and have to sit in traffic for three hours. Yep, we're still here. It's been probably about a half hour. Still here. In three kilometers or two miles, I gotta turn right, or exit right, to turn left. Onto Highway 400 North towards Barrie. I should probably get into that right lane. I'm gonna turn my signal device on and see if anybody is aware of what that means. Two. Woo! That was luck. Thank you very much there, four-wheeler. Give you the little flash ruse there to say thank you. Oh, it's this dump truck that's holding everything up. Why are you going so slow, man? Holding everything up. We should get there eventually. Once we get onto Highway 400 North, traffic will be a little bad, whatever, up until uh, Barry. And then after Barry, it should be good. Once we're out of this congested kerfluffle of a city called Toronto, that sounded a little bitter. Sorry, I don't. I don't hate Toronto. I like Toronto. I don't like the traffic here, though. I'll tell you that much. Well, you have your signal on. Are you gonna make your move or what? There you go. 
Don't tease me. Like, don't put your signal on and then dip your toe in the water. Like, there you go. That's how you do it. Put your signal on and jump in the deep end. There you go again. That's the way you do it. Another solid signal lane change. See? Some people turn, put their turn signal on and then they leave it on for like five minutes before they actually make the move. Yeah, maybe, maybe, no, nah, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, nah, no, nah, not yet, not yet. If you're gonna signal to me that you're coming over, come on over. Don't mess with me like that. Look at that, eh? Does that pick up in the camera, all that traffic all the way down the hill and up the other side out there? In 1.8 kilometers, take exit 359 on right to Highway 400 North. I gotta get over another lane. Here's my signal device on one more time. Wow, two solid lane changes in a row. Usually what happens when you turn your signal on, that's apparently the signal for all the four-wheelers to like stomp on the gas pedal. Because usually you can see, if you watch their hood, if you're in a truck and you turn your turn signal on, you'll see the hood of their car lift up as they punch it to get up beside you and get in front of you before you change lanes. Even though they were behind you and had could have easily left you enough room, they'd rather get in front of you. I don't blame them, whatever. It's frustrating when like a whole line of people do that though tell you what. Moving slowly. No kidding. Good thing you put that sign up there or I wouldn't have known. Oh, is there ever a smog around Toronto today behind me? I've seen it in my mirror. Oh, the, the air is just brown. Wow. That's kind of gross. Walking a weasel. Walking a weasel. Is my camera focused? What's up with this camera not being able to focus, Diesel? Diesel. I still have all my laundry hanging up from when we did laundry the other day. <laughs> so I hang dry everything, right? Especially on the road. It's so much cheaper just to hang dry everything. But I do that at home too because every time I put something in the dryer, it shrinks. So I only do like, you know, Socks and underwear, that's it. That's all that goes in the dryer. Saves hydro at home, too. I hang dry everything. Strange that way, I guess, but... <laughs> I got this thing set up here right now. Check this out. 
because uh, my fan, or no, because my fan, because my air conditioning doesn't work, remember? Uh, the air conditioning is what keeps the moisture out of your cab, which means it's what keeps your window defrosted. It's what keeps your windshield from fogging up. Uh, I noticed very quickly that when you're driving through humid weather without air conditioning working, your windows like to fog up. Quick solution, put a fan on the window. That keeps it clear. I had my other fan, which is up there now, uh, mounted and faced on the other window. So I had both windows with the fan on it. And then I'd keep my side windows open a crack and that would keep the side windows unfogged. So all my windows were perfectly clear. You just had to get a little creative. <laughs> but we kept it all clear and uh, we're good to go. So we're in Sudbury, Ontario right now. Uh, I like this city. It's sort of nestled in the rocks and the hills of uh, northern Ontario here. It's, it gives you a feeling like you're out in the wild but yet there's civilization. In other words, it's Canada. <laughs> so I will cut the vlog here guys if you like it. You can hit the like button if you haven't already. There's a subscribe button. And if you also want to get my videos sent directly to your feeds on Twitter and Facebook, you can go down below. There's links to my Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me on one of those. Facebook is full on friends already, but just click add friend and you'll follow me. And what will happen is every day, 4 a.m. Central Time, my videos get sent directly to you. That's how you hear from me every morning and make sure that you don't miss a video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, in your Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube feed. Thanks.